So here we are at the National Gallery, the France House exhibition, and goodness me, what a treat, what an amazing show this is. I think the best thing ever said about France House was said by another painter, and he really is the painter's painter, but this is Van Gogh, so that's some kind of, some kind of painter to be commenting on another. And what did Van Gogh say about France House? He said, dead right, House painted nothing but portraits, nothing, nothing, nothing but that. But it's worth as much as Dante's Paradise, all the Raphaels, all the Michelangelos, and even the Greeks. And I think what Van Gogh's driving at there is Franz House's all-encompassing humanity. Um, his focus on the individual, the person, and the extent to which he pays respect to each and every person he paints, whether it's a rich merchant, whether it's a man getting drunk in a tavern. There he is, he's about to speak to me, and it's, it's like walking into the past, walking into this show. It's like coming face to face, not with paint, but with actual people, such as House's extraordinary magic. And look at this, I mean, this is wonderful. The, the, the old lady with her owl and her tankard, and the way it's painted, this impressionistic, you can see why Van Gogh loved House because, you know, House is the most modern in his handling of all the old masters. He's got this virtually abstract sense of pictorial form, the, the way that the brush strokes dance and play on the surface of the canvas. I had another friend of mine, not, I think of Van Gogh as a friend of mine, <laughs> but a, another friend um, who I really did know, the painter Howard Hodgkin, he had a wonderful line about Franz House um, Howard, again, was a fantastic painterly painter. He loved House for what he called his see me dance the polka brushwork. And I think there's a great example of it here in this portrait of um, Isaac Abraham's Massa, a merchant who made his money importing pine from the Baltic. Um, they didn't have any wood in Holland. Um, look, at the, look at the way that he's painted his sleeve and look at the way that he's painted his ruff. I mean, that rough is, 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 is sort of worth a million dollars all on its own. I think what Van Gogh was driving at was that the way in which House, as part of this extraordinary society, the Dutch Republic, this is a republic, they don't have nearly as much time for hierarchy as the other societies of the West. Um, and I think what Van Gogh was driving at was the way in which House equalizes everybody uh, as a republic does. And he gives equal weight, equal existence, equal dignity to everyone, high up, low down, men and women. And the Dutch Republic's the first place that I'm aware of in, in this extraordinary 17th century universe. Um, it's the only place where they actually take women properly seriously. You know, women are equal. In, in, in the eyes of the more enlightened Dutch of this time, women are absolutely equal with men. And you can't say that about any other society. And it's reflected in house. I mean, look at this. We don't know who she was. She probably was no one, as it were, with a capital I, important. But how important she is as a human being. What a wonderful depiction that is of someone you feel that she knows her own mind, she's true to herself. It's just, you know, I, I, I can't put it into words, you can tell I can't put it into words, but just such a great painting of what it is in that moment to be alive. And you can feel House's sense of this person's importance. And I think this goes to the heart. If we come back to the beginning of the show, there'll be some pictures there that, that sort of explain this, as it were, sociologically. Um, this, it, it, only in this society, this Dutch society, Rembrandt has it as well. Rembrandt has it as well. This sense that no matter who you are, you are worthy of respect, you have dignity. 
uh, you have mine, the painter's, attention. There's one rather uncanny thing about this exhibition is you're surrounded by these faces, these eyes, and you know that what these eyes are looking at is the one thing that you can never see. Franz Hals himself, they are watching him as he paints them, but we can never see Franz Hals because, unlike Rembrandt, who painted so many self-portraits, Franz Hals didn't leave us with his own self-image. So here we are in the midst of his creation and he's not there. He has somehow disappeared, which I think is somehow symbolic. You know, he is so involved in the people who made his own world that if you like, they form his self-portrait. We never see Franz House, but we see all the people who saw him.